Well, it's been weeks since we could all sit down at a restaurant and enjoy a meal together. Takeout has become more and more popular as businesses and customers work to adapt. Evan Armour shares the story behind a brand new app that's trying to make it easier for all of us. And it was made in Virginia. An app designed to simplify the food pickup process. We feel like uh, now's the time because we can help these restaurants and we can help these customers. It's called Drive Through, and it's a timely endeavor for co-founders David Wright and Hadija Suleiman, incubated at Startup Virginia. Wright says what drew him to Suleiman's idea is that it solved a lot of problems with ordering takeout or delivery. You know, not everybody likes the concept of having a stranger show up at their house to bring them food. Another, not all small restaurants have mobile ordering capabilities. And when customers go to the restaurant to pick up, but they also don't want to have to go through the hassle of parking their car, walking inside of a restaurant, and taking food home. Here's how the drive through app works. Customers order from a participating restaurant, show up, and then notify the restaurant through the app that they're there. The app tells the restaurant where they are, what kind of car they are in, and somebody from the restaurant comes out and brings them their food. No opening your door to a stranger or having to go inside to pick up your order. With curbside carryout becoming the norm amid the coronavirus pandemic, Wright says they fast-tracked the app's launch to help Richmond area restaurants make the transition. The contact with, uh, with services that might have bacteria on them or some kind of virus and contact with individuals is absolutely minimized. So far, they have five partner restaurants with the goal of securing many more. We have Monster Taco, they were our first. We have uh, Greek on Carry. We have Chard out at Swift Creek. We have Social 52, and we have Wheezy's Kitchen. Wright says what sets their app apart is that unlike bigger delivery services that can take 30% or more commission from restaurants and charge a fee to customers, drive through charges $1 to the customer and nothing to the restaurant. We want restaurants to see drive through as a fair deal. And Wright believes even after life goes back to normal, the demand will still be there from customers, too. I think in the future, people will only care more about how the food that they eat has been handled. And I think that to the extent that they can be in control of food in transit from wherever it is, wherever it originates, to their home, they will feel better about that. Evan Armour. The sky is the limit. Virginia This Morning. Another great report from Evan. Thank you so much for that. Well, we'll post more information on our website about how you can download the drive through app. Visit WTVR.com slash VTM. Another great thing made in Virginia. Stay with us. We'll be right back after a quick break.